Hey, sweetie. I'm home. Sorry, I'm a little late tonight. Traffic was awful coming back from my parents' place. <sighs> How's your day? Oh, you're already in bed? It's only 9.30. Are you feeling okay? Oh, you couldn't sleep last night and now you're exhausted. I'm so sorry to hear that, love. Why don't I come join you and help you relax? Let me change into my PJs real quick. Ah, oh, there we go. All comfy now. Scoot over a bit. Hmm, that's better. Come here. Let me hold you. Mm. You feel tense, honey. Here. Rest your head on my chest and I'll play with your hair. That always seems to help you unwind. Just close your eyes and focus on my touch. Let all the stress and worries of the day melt away. You're safe here with me. I know you've been working so hard lately. You put so much pressure on yourself, but right now, in this moment, you don't have to do anything. Just breathe and relax. <laughs> Remember when we first started dating, and you were so shy about falling asleep next to me? I tried so hard to stay awake even when you were clearly exhausted. It was adorable. Now look at us. I can't imagine not falling asleep in your arms every night. Feeling your warmth, listening to your steady breathing. It's my favorite part of the day. You know, they say humans spend about a third of their lives sleeping. I love that I get to spend that time with you. Even when we're not conscious, we're still together. Still connected. I read an article the other day about how important sleep is. It said that during deep sleep, our brains basically do a deep clean, clearing out toxins and consolidating memories. So, in a way, by helping you fall asleep, I'm helping keep that beautiful mind of yours stay healthy and sharp. Not that you need any help in that department. You're already the smartest person I know. Sometimes I still can't believe how lucky I am to have found you. <laughs> Remember our third date? When we went stargazing in that field outside of town? We laid on that old blanket for hours, pointing at constellations and making up our own. I knew that night that I was falling for you. <laughs> the way your eyes lit up when you talked about the cosmos or how gentle your touch was when you guided my hand to trace Orion's belt. It felt like I was floating among the stars myself. <sighs> I hope we never lose that sense of wonder, you know? That ability to find magic in the everyday. To see the extraordinary in the ordinary. Like right now, to some, this might seem mundane. Just two people in bed, one trying to sleep, but to me it's beautiful. The trust you place in me to see you at your most vulnerable. The intimacy of shared breaths and interwined limbs. It's like our own little cocoon, separate from the rest of the world. And here, nothing else matters but us. <sighs> your breathing is starting to even out. That's good. Just keep relaxing. Let yourself drift. Did I ever tell you about the lullaby my grandmother used to sing to me? It was in her native language. I never learned all the words, but I remember the melody. She told me once that the song was about a little bird learning to fly. How it was scared at first, but found courage in the wind beneath its wings. I always loved that imagery. The idea that what we fear most, falling, is actually what gives us the ability to soar. I see that in you, you know? The way you face your fears head on, or how you... Always pushing yourself to grow and learn. It's one of the things I admire most about you. But it's okay to rest, too. 
to let someone else be the wind beneath your wings for a while. That's what I'm here for, to support you, to lift you up when you need it. <laughs> I love watching your face as you fall asleep. <laughs> the way your features soften, how the little fur between your brows smooths out. <laughs> you look so peaceful. Makes me think about all the different versions of you I've gotten to know over the years. The focused, determined you I see when you're working on a project. The playful, silly you that comes out when we're goofing around. The passionate, intense you in our most intimate moments. But this version, the quiet, vulnerable you that only I get to see in these late night hours. This might be my favorite. <laughs> Don't tell the other versions I said that though. <laughs> I love them all equally. <laughs> Some of my favorite memories with you are nights like this. Not the big exciting adventures or milestone moments, though those are wonderful too, but these quiet, ordinary nights where it's just us being together. Like that time last winter, when the power went out during that big storm. <laughs> we huddled under all the blankets we could find, lighting candles and telling ghost stories like we were kids at summer camp. Or a few months ago, when you caught that nasty flu, I took the week off to take care of you, and we spent days just cuddling on the couch watching bad reality TV. Even though you were miserable, there were moments where I felt closer to you than ever. I think that's the real test of a relationship, you know? Not how you handle the highs, but how you weather the lows. How you support each other through the mundane, everyday struggles. And baby, I think we're acing that test. <sighs> Your breathing has slowed even more now. You're almost there. Just let yourself go. I've got you. I was thinking earlier about how much you've changed me, not in any dramatic way, but in all these little, subtle ways that add up to something profound. Like how I've started to see the world through your eyes sometimes, noticing the patterns in nature that you always point out, or considering perspectives I never would have thought of before. Or how your passion for learning has just rekindled my own curiosity. I find myself wanting to understand things more deeply and to never stop growing and evolving. You make me want to be the best version of myself, not because you demand it, but because your love and support gives me the courage to push my boundaries. <laughs> Look at me getting all sappy while you're just trying to sleep. I can help it though. Sometimes when I look at you, I'm just overwhelmed by how much I love you. I've been thinking about our future a lot lately. Not in any specific way, just dreaming, I guess. About all the possibilities that lie ahead of us. I imagine us growing all together, sitting on a porch swing, gray-haired and wrinkled, <laughs> and still holding hands and making each other laugh. I think about the adventures we'll have, the places we'll explore, the experiences we'll share. How we'll face challenges together and come out stronger on the other side. I dream about the home we'll build. Not just the physical structure, but the life we'll create within it. The traditions that we'll establish, the memories we'll make. And sometimes, sometimes I let myself imagine tiny, pattering feet and sleepless nights for a different reason. Little ones with your eyes and my smile, or your laugh and my stubbornness. <laughs> but that's all in the future. Right now, I'm perfectly happy right here, in this moment, with you. You're so still now. I think you might finally be asleep. I'll keep talking for a little longer, just in case. They say that people can still hear things when they're sleeping, that it can influence their dreams, so 
I want to make sure that if any of my words are seeping into your subconscious, they're good ones. I want you to know in your bones how loved you are, how cherished, how important you are, not just to me, but to the world. You make a difference every day in ways big and small. The kindness you show to strangers, the passion you bring to your work, the love you give so freely to those around you, it matters. It all creates ripples that spread out further than you can see. I want you to know that you're enough, exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect, you don't have to have it all figured out. You're allowed to make mistakes, to have bad days, to need help sometimes. And I'll be here, through all of it. The good days and the bad, the successes and the failures, I choose you every day. And I'll keep choosing you for all the days to come. Mm. Sleep well, my love. Dream sweet dreams. And know that when you wake, I'll be here, ready to face another day by your side. I love you more than I could ever put into words, more than you'll ever know. I think I'll try to get some sleep too. Good night, sweetheart. Hello everyone, this is Spring SMR. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and subscribe to not miss a single release. If you like exclusive content and if you like to support the channel, please join my Patreon. And if you like to join the Spring SMR community, check out Discord server. Links to both can be found in the description of this video. Time for a quick shout out for my Patreon super supporters. Bag, Icarus Falls, Karen, Micah, Barry, Tommy, Shadelight, Jesse, Hey B Man, B349, Six, Lunar Seven, Ronnie, Lucret, Moonless Silver, Epsilon, Burning Phoenix, Cora, Vigorous Pringle, Isaias, Bemu Zing, John John, Hamoud, Dakota, and Framer. And a special thank you to our ultimate support tier members, ARC Trooper, Jordan, Doomer, and Ghosty. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for waiting for me while I was sick. And I'll see each other on the next video. Bye bye.